What's going on guys? Welcome to part nine of our 670 Dragster build. Today we have our new torque converter in. We're gonna be mounting the thing, getting a jack shaft, mounting a fuel tank, and hopefully it should be able to move under its own power. Hope so. We have a couple other things to tie up as well, like the battery. brakes and a battery. Right, but uh, we'll get around to those tonight. We are tackling the torque converter. So, first thing to do, man, we, uh, we gotta unbolt the 40 series. Yep. See if we can even fit that thing in there. We've had a lot of comments why we didn't put the master cylinder in front of the firewall, which is originally what I wanted to do, but I knew that this new torque converter might be bigger and it would interfere with the master cylinder. So I did the safe thing and I put it on the inside of the uh, firewall. And you're probably right. I think I'm gonna be right. All right, let's unbolt that 40 series and uh, I'll see good. about sticking that in there. Yes, sir. All right, there's the one. There's another. It's 11 inches from this side of the frame. It's 11 and a quarter here. So we're a quarter off that way. Well, we're gonna have to cut this uh, engine plate and kind of center her up. It's off. Oh man, let me tell you. I think we need to bring the front of the engine over my way a quarter of an inch, and that should center up or straighten the engine plate. Ready? Yeah. bolts are going to be rubbing on that steering. Eventually it's going to rub through it. We tack welded this plate into place and then I thought it would be a good idea to check the uh, bolts coming through the plate to bolt the engine down and it's hitting the steering shaft and I'm just a little worried of it damaging the steering shaft and I don't want steering to fail. We are going to take this plate and we are going to move it over this way which is going to put this steering shaft kind of in between uh, these two mounting spots. Give me a second. We're right there. We Come might on. be a uh, sixteenth off, but I'm not going to worry about a sixteenth. Yep. We have to make a run to the store for some bolts for the brakes, some pillow blocks, some one inch colors, and some 420 sprockets. Ike, what do we got, man? Man, they got nothing. Let's go. So since the other store didn't have what we needed, the sprockets and the pillow blocks, we're going with the exhaust and battery on this build. So conduit. Think it's big enough? I think it'll do. All right. Back to the other store. What you got, man? Working on exhaust, man. Uh, what you thinking for exhaust? I'm thinking coming kind of together, down, turn with a two and a one, turned out. Sounds good. Yeah. So you're working on exhaust, working, working on, on exhaust. battery box. Yep. Real. 
Boom. Oh, nice, dude. You like that? I do. Cool. And then I'll take it off, finish welding it up, and then I'll sandblast the rust off and stuff. Paint it. Jabber. All right. Okay, ground would help. Looks good, dude. Thank you. It looks professional. I know. Sandblasting makes a world of difference for paint. So you used a factory 670 muffler. I, well, I used, I cut the flanges off the factory muffler. Uh, then Performance 670 supplied us with two uh, U's. And I chopped up the U's to uh, make these two curves. And this exhaust is from, or this section is from just some old exhaust off of something. I don't know what it was off of, but it looked good to me. So I think it'll sound amazing. Probably better than the uh, zoomies we had on it. Uh, we should be real close to hearing this thing run. Firing up, just, just to hear the exhaust. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's all we're gonna do. The dang store didn't have our pillow blocks and it didn't have our collars or our 420 and, sprockets. And the motor's still loose, so we're gonna take it off and we're gonna flip the frame over and weld up the welds on the bottom and stuff. Oh yeah, we still got a lot to do. Oh boy. Yeah. I'm just stressing because today's Sunday. Yeah. It's gonna be a late night. You should be stressing. Thanks, man. I'm sorry. Just got some cable. Yeah, you had to run to the store without me. Yeah, because somebody had to work. Somebody had to work on the on the fuel tank, which looks awesome. We got a bunch of fuel line when we went out earlier today, uh, which goes to our fancy uh, fuel tank, which is from GoPowerSports.com. They have all kinds of different shapes and sizes in these really, really nice spun aluminum fuel tanks. I'm gonna be honest, they're not cheap, but I mean, you know, it's pretty. Sure is. So you get what you pay for. I wanna hear this thing run. I do too, man. Let's put some gas in it and crank her up. Yeah, we got a battery on it. We got fuel line hooked up, kind of sketchily, but you know, it'll be all right. We're gonna put some fuel in it. We got our Sunoco Ooh. Optima, oh boy. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that stuff, man. 95 octane, ladies and gents. Those are just hand tight. Yep. That battery does work, man. Sounds good, dude. Mm-hmm. Definitely sounds deeper than uh, than the yeah, zoomies too. Uh, I can see with the uh, the exhaust is rattling a bit. We're gonna have to make a uh, type of a hanger or something for it. Okay. Yeah. Let's see how much gas we use. 
Nothing. You don't think? Nah. Paranoid because the drag strip last night. Yeah. No, uh, yeah, I can't really tell. It's a good looking tank though. So we ran out of daylight and tomorrow's Monday, which means this video needs to get edited and posted tomorrow for you all to see. But we got the exhaust done. Sounds deeper, a little quieter. Uh, looks better. Sounds good. I think than the zoomies personally. I like zoomies, but you know, it'll be fine. Yeah, uh, use the sandblaster for the for the first time on camera here. And it looks it looks great. The new exhaust looks great. Did a bunch of little small things that took a lot of time. Yep, a lot of welding. Uh, got the fuel tank mounted, got the battery and battery tray mounted. Uh, got the new Go Power Sports torque converter specific for the 670 uh, mounted on the thing. And next time we're gonna be using your plasma cutter. Okay. Right? He just got a plasma cutter. So we're like anxious to start using it. Um, yeah, but the store didn't have our sprockets that we needed so we're going to be ordering some and doing those next time but i'm hoping that next time we're going to have a, a cart yeah a runner a runner one that's going to run under its own power yeah sounds good so that's what i'm hoping for uh check out performance 670 for all your v-twin needs um go power sports for all your go-kart needs check us out on facebook and instagram at cars and cameras reviews uh check out our website cars-cameras.com um buy some hoodies yeah, get some hoodies. It's getting cold, guys. Yep. Uh, that's all we got for this one. So thanks for watching. We will see you Wednesday for Off-Road Wednesday. Till then.